In this video, we're going to look at how to print on your MacBook outside of Chrome. So I've got a Word document open here that I'm ready to print. Uh, I'm going to click on Print. Of course, I can go to File Print as well if I want. Uh, and I need to change my printer. So I want to make sure I have the right printers. I'm going to open this up. There are a whole bunch to choose from here. But what I'm looking for is this Samsung Color MFP. That's all one word. And this is going to be my color printer. And I'm also looking for this Samsung MFP. It's going to be my black and white printer. So if I click on this Samsung Color MFP, it should automatically start setting up. You notice the lock there, but it should work through this. If it doesn't, I'll show you another way to do it in a second. It looks like it did everything I needed to do. I can see it's now unchecked. The other way I can do it if I need to, and so I'm going to add my black and white printer this way. So I'm going to click Add Printer. And it's going to open up this uh, dialog here for me. So I want to add this black and white one. I'm going to click on it. And I want to see that the name of the printer is here. It should say MFP Server. And I want Secure Air Print in the Use box. All of this should automatically pop up. If it doesn't, you can click and look for it. And if it still doesn't, then you might need to go talk to IT. But it should be pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to click Add. It should do the same sort of process it just did and now I have the option of black and white or color. So either one of these printers will work for me. They're actually the same printer in the libraries, so it doesn't matter which one you choose, you can go to the either location uh, to print them, the middle school library or the high school library. You'll scan your ID card uh, and be able to print from there. And that process is in another video. Once I click print, it'll ask me for my password and this is going to be the same as my captive portal account so I put in my password and I'm good to go now I head over to the printer and print it out now if you get a notification like this and your printer starts bouncing the icon starts bouncing and you see hold for authentication that's fine what that means is that it's gonna sit at that printer until you go over with your ID card and scan it so you want to see that there's no problem there just go over and scan. This is just so that we don't waste paper. If you send it and don't get, get it picked up, uh, I believe it's within eight hours, the job just disappears. So we won't waste paper this way. 